Sarah here, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the anatomy of the biliary tree. Now, this is basically a system of tubes that connects the liver to the GI tract. Now, the cells of the liver are responsible for producing bile, and bile is the substance that emulsifies fats. It's got two main components, bile salts and bile pigments, and this is important because if it comes down in big lumps of fat, then it's not going to be able to be worked on by lipase. So you're not going to be able to free the fatty acids and glycerol. So bile, important, emulsifies fats. That is why we're talking about this. So in terms of the anatomy, I've drawn the right side of the liver and the left side of the liver. Each of these with their separate ducts coming out of them. Coming from the right side of the liver is the right hepatic duct and coming from the left side is the left hepatic duct. Basically what happens is the hepatocytes, which are the liver cells, produce bile and this drains through a relatively microscopic system but eventually ends up draining into the right and left hepatic duct. When these ducts come together they form the common hepatic duct. Let me just stick on these labels. Now the big dangly grape thing that I've drawn underneath the right hand side of the liver is the bile duct. And when bile comes from the common hepatic duct, it goes up the cystic duct to the gallbladder where it's stored. This is a concentrated bile and when it is the, when the gallbladder is stimulated by a substance called cholecystokinin, or CCK, this causes the gallbladder to contract, and it's basically like a blunt-ended sac, so the bile is squirted out through the cystic duct and into the tube which connects the common hepatic duct and the cystic duct, and this is called the common bile duct. Now what I'm drawing on here is another player in the system called the pancreatic duct and this drains pancreatic juice from the pancreas into well it the, the pancreatic duct joins up with the common bile duct to form something called the ampulla vata or vata depending on your pronunciation <laughs> I don't know the answer to be honest with you now what I'm drawing on here in blue is the duodenum. Well, a section of the duodenum obviously is not got clipped ends like that. And this little squiggle in the middle that I've just drawn is the sphincter of Oddi, which is where the ampulla vata opens out into the duodenum. Let me just stick on a couple more labels. So that was the pancreatic duct coming from the pancreas. Pancreatic juice mixing up with the bile, both of them squirting together into the duodenum through the sphincter of Oddi. Some seriously strange names around this part of the body, but let's go with it. So, sticking on this label here, this is the duodenum. So, I think that is more or less everything. Have I missed any labels? Well anyway, the bile um, is released into the duodenum where it mixes with the chyme or partially digested food and can start to emulsify fats. And it's also responsible for the darkish colour of stool. And if somebody's got some kind of a blockage, um, such as a gallstone, then they may experience dark urine and pale stools. That's some key things.